Get out of here, boy. <laughs> you guys just see that no scope? Oh my gosh. Give me it, give me it. Oh my gosh! I'm I'm sending it. I'm gonna go off even more. Oh my god. Hey guys, so Jane here from Laser Gaming and in this video I wanna talk about Battlefield 5 and why it might be a lot better than your guys' first impression of it. And I already have a bunch of features that I know make the game better than my first impression of it when I first listened to the reveal and saw the trailer. And I sort of wanted to share those with you guys because a lot of you guys might not have heard it. And a lot of you may be down on the game thinking that it's going to be terrible. Um, but I sort of just wanted to bring up why the game is probably a lot better than you might think. Now that intro clip was from a live stream I did yesterday. And it was just a sort of fun clip with the one of the newer snipers, not necessarily a new one, but it's just sort of a fun clip. Uh, we've been doing really well on the live streams lately, guys, so if you haven't joined one of them, I'd recommend doing it. Um, and also subscribe down below if you are new here for everything in the Battlefield universe. I'm doing a Battlefield 5 giveaway before the beta, and I'm doing a PlayStation and Xbox or uh, Steam giveaway at the end of every month, so don't forget to subscribe down below for that and turn notifications on so you guys know when I announce that giveaway. But today we're talking about Battlefield 5 and some of the mechanics that will make this game better than most Battlefield games in the past and sort of what might turn it into a really revolutionary game in the franchise that changes a lot despite the initial bad impression of it. You guys know I've been bashing on this game a little bit. You guys know sort of um, my opinions about the trailer and that kind of stuff from previous videos that I've done but in this one I really just want to talk about what I think could make this game really good um, so the main things that I think will really change this game um, sort of come down to how they're changing up the gameplay in this game um, so one the movement system seems to be completely revamped it seems to be a lot more fluid and you seem to sort of be able to control your character a lot more um, something you've never really seen in a battlefield game you're able to dive left, right, front, and backwards, you're able to sort of, while you're lying down on your back, back pedal. We've never really seen this before, you could only lie down on your stomach. Um, we've never been seen you be able to lie down on your side and back and sort of crawl in different directions like that. Um, I think it's really cool and I think it's gonna sort of give you even more freedom with your soldier. Um, I'm interested to see how they implement that on console with the sort of thumbsticks and stuff, how we'll end up being able to dive, that's gonna be pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, so the movement's going to be very different. Um, also when you're like jumping over things or if you're doing anything, like if you're throwing a grenade with one hand, you'll still have your gun out and you'll be able to shoot. Um, I'm not necessarily sure about grenades, but I know that when you're vaulting or jumping over something, if your gun's out, you can shoot. It's it's not like in Battlefield 1 where like if you put your gun down for a second to like throw a med kit down or something, even though your gun's on your screen, you can't shoot it. In this game, whenever the gun's on your screen, you can shoot it and I think that's really cool. Additions to movement and gunplay. Now building off the gunplay, this game's also going to have predictive recoil, something we haven't seen in the Battlefield franchise before. Um, so this is basically just what it sounds, recoil that's predictable and ones that you can learn. Now we've had it on certain weapons in the past, but we haven't had it across the game like we do here. Um, they're also getting rid of bullet deviation, which is so good. Um, the developers basically said that if you're aiming at somebody, and for example you line up a headshot, you shouldn't be re like penalized for doing everything right. If you're a player and you aim at a guy's head perfectly, you pull the trigger, you should hit that guy's head with the first shot because you did everything right. There was nothing that you did wrong. After the first shot, obviously recoil is going to kick in and things are going to change, but first shot will be 100% accurate, the developers say, and there will be no bullet deviation like you've seen in past games, or such as in Battlefield 1, sometimes if you're aiming at the player's head, random bullet deviation kicks in and spread kicks in at a range for SMGs, for example, and you wouldn't even hit them, which is very frustrating for some players. Now we also see fortifications coming in. This is a completely new addition to Battlefield, and I've been playing quite a bit of Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 4 lately, which have a lot of destruction. And you guys will see on my streams, sometimes when you're just running through an open field, there's not much you can do. Uh, if you're running towards the end of the game as well, a lot of the buildings are destroyed and there's not much cover. Having the ability to rebuild that cover will really make it dynamic and will really give sort of an extra level of skill to the players who are willing to sit down, take the time to fortify 
um, a conquest flag and it'll be a lot harder for the enemies to break. And I think that's a really, really awesome dynamic addition to the game. I'm super hyped to see that when it comes out and hopefully we will see full gameplay of that at EA Play in two weeks. Um, now lastly, sort of the addition of skilled player bonuses. So in previous Battlefield games, um, pretty much just Battlefield 1 to be honest, we had sort of random player bonuses. So if you were just any player on the game and you saw a battle pickup such as an elite class, you just pick it up and do well with it. Um, the only issue here is, is that it didn't really reward good players for doing well. I could be doing the best on my team and I could get no reward and then I could go against a player who's doing terrible on the other team but he just randomly happened to pick up a tank hunter kit for example as you see in some of the gameplay in the background and he could just destroy me with the tank hunter kit just out of random luck. Um, what Battlefield 5 is trying to do is it's trying to add a skill to that. So you're going to have squad based bonuses. So once your squad reaches a certain score or a high score you can get bonuses this includes care packages with ammo and health this includes um bonuses such as like battle pickups such as like overpowered weapons like the tank hunter gun uh that we see or stuff like we saw in battlefield 4 with like a bear 50 cal obviously there wouldn't be a 50 cal in world war 2 but you guys kind of get the gist uh, you can also call in a v1 rocket which is like a missile strike which is really awesome. Um, while this is only given to the squad leader, um, the squad leader is able to choose what they want and then the squad itself will reap the benefits. It's really awesome that they're sort of rewarding players for doing well in Battlefield rather than just rewarding them randomly, which is mostly what we've seen in the past. So I know this game isn't all good so far, we haven't seen that much gameplay, but from these points hopefully you guys can sort of look at this game with a more optimistic lens and realize that this is going to be a pretty tactical shooter that's going to take a lot more skill than previous Battlefield games did. And I'm always all for putting more skill into Battlefield games, whether this game is historically accurate or not, it doesn't matter if the game has really good game mechanics. While it does take some people out of the immersion of the game, and that sucks, it's probably about 20% of the player base that it might alienate. Um, if this game does perfect gameplay mechanics at launch, I'll be okay with it. Um, I'll be able to get over some of the um, immersion issues that I sort of criticized in previous videos if this game's truly able to deliver on the gameplay aspect. Tell me you guys think down below in the comment section, what do you guys think about Battlefield 1? Do you guys think it's better than the community is giving it credit for at this point? Um, Again, just want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. We're killing it lately on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe for giveaways for PlayStation, Xbox, and Steam, and a Battlefield 5 giveaway right before the beta. But that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.